Hello, I'm Meli for Edu for Hava, and this is um, tutorial number three of Spring Framework. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to download and install the Spring Framework, we're, and we're going to download it. We go into Spring. We put right here download Spring, and uh, we go into Spring Source. Let's click in either of these two because it's it takes us to the same place. Here we are. It's loading. Okay, it gives you a form to fill in, but if you don't want to fill in it, just press uh, down here. And if you don't get this, fill in the form with anything you think of. Once you are um, in the next page, you want to download the framework, and here you have all the types of release. This is the last version. For this tutorial, we're going to install the 2.5.6 version because it has dependencies which are interesting for us. There are libraries which are not Spring libraries and if not we would have to collect them one by one so it's better they have the dependencies in it. Let's download this one then. We have a zip to download as you can see. Okay click OK and as you can see um, we're going to see here now that I have already downloaded it when you finish download downloading it you will have this as you can see I have downloaded the version 3.0.5 but it doesn't have all the li libraries so we're not going to use it for this tutorial we'll use 2.5.6. In future tutorial we'll take a look at the last version, but not for now. This one is enough. You double click and a file appears. You drag and drop the file wherever you want, for example to click C. Um, let's do it. As you can see here I have both the files. If you go into the file 2.5.6 inside we've got dist uh, for distribution. Here we are. You have the spring packages. The 2.5.6 version is very convenient because it has a jar with all the spring in just one jar. I tried the other um, version too and as um, you can see there's a lot of jar and you have to choose which one you like and which you don't. You can download it and take a look but we're going to work directly with this one. The first thing we're going to do is uh, to create a new project. We're going to call it uh, tutorial 2 finish Let's create a new package. New package com dot edu for Java dot spring dot and this is tutorial number three. Inside the package, we will create a new class called called hello. Inside the class we'll create a setter with name to set the name and a method called say hello which will say hello and the uh, hello and the name. If the name is Edu he, he will say hello Edu. Edu. This is the bean we're going to try to include in the Spring container. Let's do a class main with a static procedure. 
and here we're going to create the spring container. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste what uh, I had written already. In this variable we are going to make a new of a new container. Here we have uh, an error. What's the problem? Yeah, we don't have the library imported. We need the spring.har library. Properties have a build path. And we're going to add external hard jars. Let's look in my C disk and inside Spring Framework 2.5.6. Let's go to this. And here we have Spring jars we've seen before. Once we import it, Spring jar needs some Apache libraries to work. These are the dependency libraries which I talked about before. They are called comi common logging. Let's import them too. They are in lib Jakarta Commons. Let's see. I'm going to find them right here. Okay. There I can see Jakarta Commons logging. Once I have these libraries imported, this should work. Let's do Shift Control O to do the imports okay as you can see here I declared a variable context and I make a, a new class path XML application context this means I'm going to create a new container there are two types of container in Spring um, a beam factory and an application context. In this case we'll do the one of application context. The application context is based in an XML file as the name indicates and we're going to handle him a context XML. The question is where is this context.xml is? Here we are saying that we want to take it out from the class path. We are going to put a context.xml inside the class path so that it can be loaded. This will be done here in the root file. Okay, new. Let's make a new file. And we call it context.xml. This file is going to be the root file. Mm, I have an error. Let's see why oh, say hello, hello. Mm. Ah, okay, I didn't save it. So let's save it in both. Okay, now yes. Once I have the container here, which is going to be read, read from the configuration XML. Okay, let's ask the container for the hello bean. It would be defined inside. To the bean hello, we'll say say hello. For all this, we should configure this empty file here. For uh, help to know how to configure it, we'll look inside the Spring 2.5.6 doc reference. There is a PDF which can help you. To do a quick search, you can write here, uh, upside up here, what you want to look for. For example, beans. And we look for this. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We have around here, this is what I was looking for. This is the main structure for a Spring XML. Let's come here. I'm going to copy everything. As uh, you can see, there's a tag bean. Okay, we copy it here. And we're going to delete um, what we don't want. Okay, let's delete. And uh, there's a tag beans, and inside there's a tag bean. 
This tag beans is the the root tag, which um, this it opens here. That's the main beans, and it closes there. Inside, we can write as many tag bean as you want to. Let's organize this. Shift Control F. Okay, here you define the name you want it to have in the internal hash map of the container. Here you have to also define the class you want to load. If we come to the class, um, we have to indicate the class with a package. Let's write the package dot and hello. Uh, we have an error because we have to close the, the bean. Let's see. I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to close it. Okay, there's another tag called property. I think um, this editor doesn't help me. So uh, we're going to better look in the document as before for help. Okay, let's look for something which starts with property. Here we are. Property name. Let's copy it to our project. Okay, what shall we call the property? Let's call it, for example, name. Remember that Tello had a property called name and which had a setter, remember? The value is going to be, for example, uh, Let's be original. Edu. <laughs> okay, here I have a context dot XML. Okay, with my bean and inside the bean I have a field called property. Let's see what it happens. Let's run it. Okay, main runners have application and here we are. Hello Edu. If we go to the XML and change the value, for example, from Edu to my name, Ellie, okay, we're going to see that, hello Ellie, that's correct. Okay, that's the end. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.